there's a job that I went out on recently and uh, we found out that it was a burned up transformer and a few of the pictures I'm going to show you is just close up pictures of uh, different aspects of the transformer things that I checked out and loved checking the torqueness uh, of all the fittings there I had to check the clearance behind the transformer in the wall to verify that uh, there was enough clearance there and it was installed per specifications usually 68 inches this particular is just a close up of how the, the flash burned out and you can see the, the smoke and the flash off the uh, coil there um, close up of the burn mark I, I don't know if that's burned from the inside or the outside waiting for the uh, uh, transformer company to let us know manufacturer and here I'm just going back through and double checking all the tightnesses of everything I don't see any heat build up and, uh, that could have caused uh, any kind of failure and I took a look at uh, other aspects of uh, what could have caused it. Was there any water leak? And this happens to be in a trans in a uh, car wash. That's just an airline there. It's not a water line. You know, there's always crap stacked up on top of that. This particular transformer gives out about uh, 110 degrees of uh, heat. And once again, just going through and double checking everything getting close up shots there is uh, the tops of them that's uh, the high leg that's the low leg of the transformers just verifying going through and checking everything these are the taps and um, they were factory set at uh, 480 to 240 or 208 and those particular taps you can vary your voltages out of um, so you can see the flash should come all the way over into the, the center of the transformer there and this one is just another close-up went outside to double check the uh, fuses at the uh, service disconnect to uh, see what type of fuses are in there they were specced by the uh, electrical engineers uh, low peak uh, style fuse and uh, that's basically